This is Eugene Panrutkovich on the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Acer Chromebook 11 CB3-111 with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Acer Chromebook 11. Before we get started, first we need to verify a couple of things, that the laptop is turn off. Um, there's uh, With Chromebooks, when you open up the laptop, it automatically turns on. The way to turn this off is you uh, do a long press on the power button here until you don't see anything on the screen and no indicator lights lighting up. That means it's turning off. The second thing to do is verify the model number. Um, on the palm rest, it shows the model number Acer Chromebook 11 CB3-111. If the label on the palm rest is missing, what you want to do is flip the laptop over and on the back there's a label and it shows the model number in a couple places. CB3-111 here and CB3-111 here. Okay, let's flip the laptop over again, make sure it's not turning on, and then we can get started. Uh, first thing is I'm going to show you the tools we're going to use for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers to lift up adhesive tape, manipulate cables, and to remove any screws that may be stuck. And we also have a hobby knife or exacto knife, and that's also to lift up tape and also to use as a prying tool if needed. Okay, the first order of business is to snap the screen bezel off. For this laptop model, there's no screws securing the screen bezel to the screen assembly, so we just snap it off. The way we do that is put our fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and look for a place where you can gain some traction. In this case it happens to be on top. We can get a grip on top. So what we want to do is use our fingernails to pull upward and outward and listen for snapping sounds. And in this manner go around the screen assembly and pushing outward and upward to snap the screen bezel off. So we keep going around. Same thing on the bottom and the screen bezel comes off. Okay, next order of business is to remove the screen assembly, the screen from the screen assembly and it's secured by two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. So we use our screwdriver to remove the screws. And we put the screws in a pile on the side so we don't lose them. Keep the screws all together. So that's two. Three. And four. Once we remove the screws, we make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit and we slowly tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly and lay it down. When you lay it down, make sure you don't touch the power button because that can turn on the laptop while we're doing the repair. And the next order of business is to remove this connector. There it's held down by some adhesive tape so we have to lift up the adhesive tape first and we use our hobby knife to open up a corner to lift up a corner and then we can use our fingertips to lift up the adhesive tape if we don't get enough grip we use the hobby knife to lift up some more until we get a good grip Okay, this one's stuck pretty tight. But we work the adhesive tape off gently so not to damage the connector. 
we lift up the adhesive tape. Once we do that, we can start to remove the connector. Okay, to remove the connector, what you want to grab, do is put peel the adhesive tape back and grab the connector by the back and gently slide it out like so until it comes out. I'm going to slide it back in again. When you slide it back in, you gently slide it back in and you'll feel but not hear two clicks. That means the connector is properly engaged. Let's get a good close-up. This is a, pause the video right here. This is a properly connected connector. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection and the two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. So let's take out the connector again and let's take a look at this screen. This is a 11.6 inch EDP screen with a 30 pin connector. So the part number for this screen is N116BGE-EA2. There's uh, several flavors of this type of screen that are slightly different, so you want to make sure you get either the exact part number or it matches the laptop model exactly, so you to make sure you don't get the wrong one. Also for this screen, it has a matte finish rather than a glossy finish, and uh, if you really prefer matte finish, you have to specify when you're ordering because these screens come interchangeably with a matte or a glossy finish. Okay, uh, to buy this screen from us, you can order the screen from us from Screen Surgeons. Uh, what we guarantee is that we will ship the right screen to you for your particular laptop model. And if we don't, we will resend it. And with each screen, this exact same toolkit comes for free with each screen. We have a two-year warranty on our screens and free email technical support. And also for customers in the United States, we ship it for free using Priority Mail. If you live outside the United States, go, to, go through the checkout procedure and select your country. We can ship to most countries around the world. And also school districts. For school districts, we sell a lot of these screens in bulk, so please contact us. We have bulk discounts for this type of screen. So to buy this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. That will be a short form for you to fill out with your contact info from a laptop model. This will help us guide you to the right screen online. And then once you do, just go through the normal checkout procedure. Once you do receive the screen, make sure it looks like the old screen. Then connect the connector as I showed you. Place the screen inside the screen assembly. Put the two screws in on top and the two on the bottom and then snap the screen bezel back on and you should be done. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.